Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. As you know, we have a black version, a very dark version of the Luminous, which is called Luminous Black 4K. Now, I had the screen originally over here and I had the projector hitting there, but now I have it hanging on the wall, which is a little bit more professional looking. Um, so you can see the screen at the distance on where the projector is sitting. Okay, I'm gonna back up here a little bit and show you how far my projector is sitting from my screen. Also, I also want you to look at the environment. I'll close my door over here. Once you look at the environment, I want you to see how much light that I have in my environment to where my screen is sitting. A lot of light in here. Um, I like to do demonstrations with as much light as possible to give you a real ambient light environment, not something to be dark or dim. Um, I think, you know, when people use that ambient light controlled environment, it doesn't help anybody else who doesn't who doesn't want to be in a dark environment. Bottom line, you want your screen to be used just like a TV, and that's why you're probably some of you are going to be trading your TVs in or basically just not getting one altogether because you know you want to be able to have the ability to be able to be used your screen in a fully lit environment. This is also fantastic for commercial use only. Now this is our pre-coated blackout cloth. Um, we've been doing this for uh, I think since that's our launch date was the 18th so we've been doing it since the 18th and one of the things I want to point out that's very important when you're dealing with a pre-coated blackout cloth uh, this these are demonstrations that should be shown when the uh, material is being designed first of all even if the material has the ability to expand um, once you coat it it will lose some of that so you have to be able to show that the material when coated, because this is our material right here for the uh, for the black. That's what it looks like right there. That's our material right there for the black. Once you coat it, my scissors and stuff, once you coat it, one of the things you have to do test on, you have to be able to prove that once you stretch it over a frame, is it still going to maintain its original form or somewhat of the original form, which means it's still going to have the ability to expand over the frame and not become stiff and rigid. Because once it becomes stiff and rigid, it's going to have the equivalent of trying to take a piece of cardboard and wrap it around a frame. That's how it's going to get. So that's why you have to do research. I've learned this years ago. I've had my company since 2011. And I've learned this years ago that you have to be careful about this because I made a huge and costly mistake where I actually coated a surface thinking that it was going to expand over a frame and it didn't because I didn't do that test. I didn't run that test by wrapping around the frame first to see what would happen and it didn't work. So that's one of the things you have to look at. So this is where we go and we do, a, I do a lot of tests, we do a lot of tests showing you that you don't have to worry about that when it comes to our um, blackout cloth. Now, I'm gonna show you up close. This right here is blackout cloth right here stretched around a frame, that's the frame right there. And you can see there's no imperfections, nothing. It looks absolutely smooth, it looks beautiful. This is the way it's supposed to look and that's when it actually wrapped around the original frame right there. By the way, you can't see that because I'm in the way. So, like I said, this is the black blackout cloth right here. And here we got a stretch. I got part of the frame sticking out because I want you to see it is attached to a frame. I got it stapled down. You can see how smooth the surface is. Very easy to stretch it over the frame once we coat it. And I think that's very important because, like I said, um, even though you know someone may be showing you the material stretchy, being stretchy, or being able to expand, right? That's not enough because I can have a piece of material in my hand. I can pull on it, I can stretch on it. It will give that elastic look to it. But once you stretch it over the physical frame itself, then you may run into some problems where you may lose or areas that need to be smoothed out and can be smoothed out if it wasn't painted would react in a different way where now that you have painted it will react differently. So that's something that's very important for people to do when they do demonstrations. That's why we do things on a different level over here. You will see the material as you're seeing right there. You will see the different tests as we tested on 50 lumens. We've tested actually 15 lumens at 14 feet back. So that we did 14 feet back on 50 lumens. We tested against 50 lumens versus a TV. Uh, we've done a long throw, short throw, ultra short throw, because some people ask about ultra short throws. We've taken these screens outside and hosed them down with water. We've seen these screens react around nine and 10 o'clock. So these screens have done a ton of testing, even testing is the DMP Supernova Elite uh, Dark Star 9. Uh, the Firehawk G4, Seymour AV 1.3. So if you look at the history, and you can go back and see all the different demonstrations we've done on this technology, even taking this screen and matching it against a sheet of, um, of sheet metal, which was actually evolved in a challenge, which was never taken up. But 
um, it's just to show you that how the, the you have to do more than just coating a surface you have to show the test someone can always say to me hey what's the difference between your screen and a DMP supernova here you go what's the difference between taking your screen outside in the rain here you go what's the difference between your screen weatherproof oh here you go can the screen be used in a fully lit environment yes hey matter of fact they can be running outside around 9 and 10 o'clock in the morning so and on top of that like I said one of the other things you have to consider is will the screen still maintain that kind of spandex kind of stretchy form once it's coated and that's why you have to coat the surface stretch it over a frame and show that it actually does work and this is what we have right here and I'm really amazed by it because like I said I've been through this before I've done this before I've made mistakes and that's one of the things you learn when you have a business that you will make mistakes and you learn from those mistakes to make better technology Look at that screen, a fully lit environment. Look how fantastic that looks. I love my fish. You know that I do a lot of demonstrations with the fish. I love doing fish. A lot of people like to have that aquarium on their wall with, with, all, the, uh, with all the work that comes with having an aquarium. This is a fantastic way to do it. But as you can see in the environment, how much lighting I have. The lighting I have in my environment is extremely bright. All right, we'll knock out all the lights. For those of you that are curious to see what the screen looks like with the lights out, this is how beautiful that screen is. Now the Luminous Black will be available. It was supposed to be available today. I'm so sorry, I was so tired. I was swamped with orders. So it was supposed to be available today. I will have it on the website. I'm actually cracking away at it right now on the website. It will be available in 100 inch, 120 inch, um, 143. Yes, is going to be back on stock. We do have the um, silver version and we do have the um, uh, black version now available on the website, which will be there. Give me some time. It'll be on there in a couple. Give me until uh, 12 o'clock this evening. Everything will be back on the site. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Wage Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. I'm also going to be doing some demonstrations on that wallpaper screen, that very thin, thin paper screen, the 54 inch at 16.9. We'll be doing some demonstrations on that also, too. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Look at the white levels on the black on that dark screen. That looks incredible. Hold on for a minute. We'll come out here real quick. Boom. Boom. It's amazing, doesn't it? Alright, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time.